Hello everybody, welcome back to the Industrial Craft 2 series where we look at how to generate power. So, this is the final installment of the power series. Next time we touch up on this again, we're probably going to be going over the radioisotope generator, uh, maybe some radioisotope heat generators, nuclear generators, just kind of like the stuff that we didn't cover in this one. However, those are far later uh, pieces in the game that you wouldn't really get at the start here. These are more, you can get them at the start fairly easily. Those ones, not so much. So today we're going to be going over the wind turbine and the kinetic generator, how those two combine to each other, how to make it. So first things first, we're actually going to need these items here, which are the cast iron plate here which if you don't know how to get that it is just you put the iron ingot into a forge hammer which is just like let me just show you so let's grab all these and this one i can't do but it's just iron block this is a metal former and then you get a iron shaft here so how this works is you put your forge hammer in here put an iron ingot in here and you get your iron plate to get these iron item casings you're going to put this iron plate in here and you'll receive two of the iron casings and that is how you get those and then to get this um shaft it's just you stick it into the metal former and then you will get the shaft it has to be an iron block it can't be an iron ingot otherwise nothing will happen moving on we're going to get some basic machine casing so it's just these iron plates eight of them to be exact and you are going to put it in a shape like an o and then you're going to get basic machine casing. This machine casing is then going to be used to make our turbine here, which uses the basic machine casing, and then two of these iron shafts that you get from the metal former with the block in them. So you put them like this, and you put that in there, and then you get your wind turbine. So it's on the center line only. You can move it around, works either way. Doesn't work like this, has to be on a line. Put it like that and you get your wind turbine. Moving over here, we need to make a little thing for the kinetic generator. The kinetic generator is what's actually gonna make this wind turbine work. So if you don't know how wind power works, pretty much you need to turn the wind energy that you would get from, it's standing up there and you need to turn it into kinetic energy for it to actually be able to produce some sort of electrical unit. So we're going to make the kinetic, gen or the, yeah, the kinetic generator right now. So to make this, you're going to need an electric motor. To make this electric motor, it is simply going to be copper cables, which if you don't know how to make these, we went over in the first tutorial how to make them. You're going to need a cutter and then copper ingots. So, to make this, I, yeah, I forgot one. All right, so it's just an O with copper cable, and then put in an iron ingot and you get this copper coil. And that actually isn't the right recipe, uh, this was how to make the copper coil. I noticed that that didn't look right. But, so if we go over to make the electric motor, it is two of these copper coils, some tin iron, some tin item casing, which is just the forge hammer and some tin plates. And also then you need an iron ingot and that will give you the electric motor. Moving on after you have the electric motor, which is right here, you're then going to need iron item casings, six of them. And then you're going to need a shaft, the electric motor, and a normal generator. Arranging these in the pattern like this, you will then get the kinetic generator. Now that you have the kinetic generator in the wind turbine, you're going to need to actually make some rotors for it. So I have two rotors right here. Wood is kind of the basic thing. Like you would probably use wood if you're very new to this starting out very recently. And then you would have iron here, but it also goes up to steel, carbon, and that's about it. So it's wood, iron, steel, carbon, carbon being the most durable and having the most MCW. So, let's start with making the wood one first. So, first you're going to want to make this, which is a rotor blade. So, to make the rotor blade, it is going to be six planks, followed by three logs. So, arranging it like this, three logs in the center, and three planks on each side, and you get one wooden rotor. Arranging the rotors, or the rotor blades, 
in a order like this, you then get the actual rotor itself. So I will show you later how these rotors affect the power output of what comes in and what comes out. So now I'm going to move over to a more useful option, which is actually a, um, a iron rotor. So to make these, we're going to need six of these iron plates that I showed you how to make at the beginning. Take these and then we're going to need three of the iron ingots. Placing the iron ingots like this in the center and then placing the iron plates at the ends, you're then going to get to the iron rotor blade. So with the iron rotor blade, you're going to take four of those and then a shaft, which again, throw that in a metal, throw the iron block in a metal form and you get the shaft and then putting that together makes the kinetic gearbox rotor iron stage. So I'm going to actually hop over into creative mode and I'm going to just build up a little, um, little basic thing to show you how it all works. We will use the gold cable as usual. You might want to use some sort of LV thing to convert, but we can also, I think we can use a battery box. So I'm going to just build up really quick. Hopefully the wind isn't weak or anything. So to place this, you're going to want your wind turbine to go here. And then out the back here, it's kind of like an observer. If you want it to make like an infinite thing, you got to place it into it. It's the same exact story. So to, so to place this kinetic generator, you need to have it on a block and you put it right here. And then on the inside, well, obviously there's nothing because we don't have a rotor, but if there's a rotor right here, you can see that's moving really quick. Wow. But you can see that there's a bandwidth of 27.2 EU per tick. So if we place it the other way, it's going to show nothing. So you have to place it like this in order for it to work. So I'm just going to quickly run a cable over here and you are going to see that it's going to fill up this battery box very quick. And this is with a wood rotor. So if we go over just a couple blocks over here, not a couple, but a fair amount of blocks over there, we put our wind turbine down. We move this over, we put our kinetic generator down, give it one, two, three, four, three, put our battery box here, and then we're going to put in our kinetic uh, generator, the um, iron kind. And this also has something to do with, yep, you can see that this has 59.2 EU per tick. These are not high voltage cables. So we had a little bit of an explosion that's going to happen with high power. You may lose a battery box. So if you don't have like a um, LV transformer or a HV transformer, this could be an issue for you. Um, if you want to know how to make a HV transformer, I will do a little um, section here. So this is an HV transformer. I think we might be able to use an LV to convert it to lower voltage. I've used low voltage. Tra I have a tutorial on how it works, but this is an LV transformer. It's just wood insulated tin cables and one of these coils, but I will actually show you how these things work. So let me grab an LV transformer here. So what this does is it transfers this high voltage here. And if we actually place this down just right here, we'll do that for a second. So you can see that it takes an input of 128 EU per tick and it gives an output of 32. So it kind of holds back everything. So we're going to put that in and then we can put our battery box. Let's see. Wait, it's been a little bit since I've used this thing. Forgot that I would need it like this. So I'm going to do that and battery. Whoops. And we'll put the battery box here. And you can see that now it's not blowing up. It is putting in all of that. But you can see that the iron goes significantly faster. This is, Sure, it's at 40% now if we put that back in. You can see that it's going up pretty fast. But you can also see that this thing's going up very fast. And I guess I'll just do a little bit of an example since I've got a little bit of time here. I'm going to use a carbon one. Hopefully this thing won't explode. But I'm going to take this out and I'm going to put a carbon one in. And let's just see. Oh, the carbon one's huge, actually. That's why you can't really use it. But if we got something like a um, steel one, uh, maybe steel. Let's try that one. So if we got something like a steel. So yes, they do have varying size. If you have 
a size that is too big, it will lose area. So yeah, look at that. 356 EU or KU. So that is going into the transformer here and that is going to fill up this battery box very quick. So you can see that just in like a little bit, we've already gotten that much. So that is the final tutorial here for the power, at least for now. We might move on later, as I said before, but that is the wind turbine, and that is the last one that you'll probably be using for a little bit. So these are base all these are basic item uh energy generators right here. I have a full playlist at the end of the video here that you can go and check out other ones if you want. We've covered uh water mill, solar panels, uh what was that one? That was like a um, geothermal one or something. And then we have just simple little windmills over there. So those are all be in the description. But next time that I see you, we will probably be... Oh, these are pre-recorded. But the next time you tune into this series, we will be going over different types of... Uh, what are they called? Machines. So stuff like the um, uh, metal former here. We have compressors. We have things that load the canning stations. Stuff like that, maybe even battery boxes, MFEs, low voltage transformers, stuff like that. So, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoy, and I hope to see all of you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great day.